And now, your WLKY weather with Chief Meteorologist Jay Cardosi. All right, gang, a little bit chilly out there right now. The winds of change rolling through here last night with the storms and those winds continue tonight. Not as strong, obviously, but with northwesterly breezes, oh, it's getting cool. 52 degrees right now, the humidity, 41% of north northwesterly wind in here at 15 miles per hour. The wind will stay up tonight. The temperature will continue to come down. Here's your radar scan. A little bit of light rain coming down, at least in a few spots, especially off to the east of Louisville, closer to Shelbyville, and especially out near the capital city, Georgetown, as well as Lexington. That's one little batch of sprinkle activity, some patchy light rain. Another little batch up here in our northern communities. And by the way, I just checked some of the OBS. It's mixing in with a little bit of snow right now up around Indianapolis. So I wouldn't be a bit surprised to see a wet snowflake in our northern communities before all this ends a little bit later on tonight. Little disturbance riding the jet stream coming on down through the Ohio Valley. And this is a re little reinforcing shot of colder air too. The main cold front moved through late last night with the storm activity. And this is the secondary front that's pushing through with these sprinkles right now. A uh, bottom line, boy, it's gonna stay pretty cool the next five to seven days and even beyond as we really settle in to a below average temperature weather pattern. All right, here's tomorrow morning. I think the skies will clear late tonight. We wake up to sunny skies in the morning, but low and middle 30s will greet you about 38 in Louisville. And check this out, very close to freezing off to the north. Our far northern communities overnight tonight through tomorrow morning have a freeze warning in effect. Lawrence, Jackson, Jennings counties of Indiana. And tomorrow night into Saturday morning, we have a freeze watch that has been posted, which means temperatures could get very close to 32, maybe a little bit lower than that, with the greatest threat being east of I-65 as we move through tomorrow night and also into Saturday morning. All right. Tomorrow's weather, though, looks fantastic. I mean, it's going to be chilly in the morning, but lots of sunshine and just kind of breezy and cool through the afternoon as temperatures climb into the middle and upper 50s. That is about 10 degrees below average, and overall, that cool weather pattern will win out. Here's Saturday. Clouds will be increasing, maybe a few sprinkles in the afternoon, but the better chance for rain will be pushing in, unfortunately, for Easter Sunday. All right, here's the forecast. Overnight tonight, spotty showers will be ending, otherwise clearing later on with temperatures around 38 for a low. We start there in the morning. Tons of sunshine tomorrow. Breezy, but Rick, it's going to stay cool. Just in the upper 50s by late afternoon. A little bit uh, milder. 61 on Saturday, maybe an afternoon sprinkle. There's that chance for rain Easter Sunday afternoon. But look how it stays cool. Well below average, right around 50 by day and 30s at night even in to later next week. Wow, hmm. that's a change. Hey, yeah, you and I were talking before the weather about Derby. What if we reset the clock from 23 days, I just looked at it, 148 days now to Derby. <laughs> so we, we have a chance to get the warm weather by then. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> well, let's hope so, my goodness. Not going in the right direction now. <laughs> uh, yeah, all right, maybe this is a good thing. All right, uh -huh. thanks, Jay. Sure.